Hello there and welcome to episode 6 of the SQL for Data Analysis series where we'll be looking at some bonus content, single line comments, multi-line comments, ordering by column numbers, searching for nulls in the between operator and the reason we're doing this is to look over the last of the things to make you proficient in some of the basics before we move on to some intermediate and advanced concepts. So we're in the pubs database that we've previously imported. Um, I've done a select all on the titles table. But for now, I just want to show you single and multi-line comments. So if you work with Power BI, as a lot of my audience do, we don't use the double forward slashes for single line comments. We use two horizontal dashes. And you can see here, I just write, welcome to this bonus episode. And, and really about what comments are about when we're collaborating, if you work in enterprise, or even if you want to go back and look at some of your previous work, um, you can just add some comments so that things the process is documented. If you need to do it again, you know how you did something before. And also, if you revisit something um, much later in advance, you can you can see how you uh, where your head was at, and other people can also see that as they work through your process. So comments out the way. Another interesting thing, again, I like to prepare people not only for just using the technology, but if you use this in an enterprise environment, sometimes people don't necessarily use best practice. So, so it's good to know how things are, are done in that respect too. So here I'm just doing a simple, we've covered this before. I'm ordering by the price. You can see that column when we use descending goes from highest to lowest value. Um, also, if we were to use price without ascending or descending um, behind it, it just automatically defaults to ascending value, the nulls and then the lowest values. But what's interesting, if you count along to price, that's the fifth column from left to right, we can actually just type five and order our table by that column um, descending. We could also use three ascending, so that's the type, and it's gonna go ascending in alphabetical order, A to Z. So very interesting tip, and if you see that being done in queries, that's why and that's what it achieves. Now, another thing, if we're working with large databases, we can actually just use this, these keywords is null, and we can actually use, um, we can see where the null values or the blanks are within our data set. Now, as I just display here to piece some things together, if we use uh, comments, single line comment, it's helpful for large databases and when working through large data sets. And equally, when we're cleaning up data and we're using queries, so we can say is not null, just to get rid of those null values if we assume that they shouldn't be there or they're in error and we don't need to potentially display that in our underlying data. Now we can start to piece together as we're, we're closing this out, the concepts we've looked at and add in the between operator. So let's say I want to select the title column and to the right, I've cropped this out, but there's a pub year, which is just the year that the title was released. Um, but what we need to do, so we can just extrapolate the year because it comes in a standard date format. And if you're working along with me, query the titles table and, and you'll see that. Now, another thing that we do when we introduce sort of a, a function with a column is we use as to create a name for the virtual column. Now, as my, col my, as my comment denotes, this is just known as an alias. So if you, if you do see that, essentially, it's just a renaming of a virtual column. So there we go, we've started to, to clean and reshape our data and we see we get the title and the pub year as I've called it. It's just a year of release. Now, next up, we're actually going to use the between operator to showcase how we can take two dates. Um, and it, it could be anything, this can actually work with text or numbers. But let's say if we take two dates, for example, we can see we've got releases in 2022 um, and also 91 and 94. So let's just say we want to look at um, release dates between 1991 and 1994. Well, actually quite simple. We can just state where the, the pub year, but remember we have to take the pub date, the original column name within the year function. And we can say between and the two years, so 1991, 1994, and that's going to include the year 1991 and 1994 and give us all the items from there and then after that we can just put in what we've learned as well we can put that to good use with the order by we can use two and descending so that just means we're taking the second column the pub year and we're showing 
the title um, from the the nearest value to the furthest away in descending. And there we go. We've pieced together a lot of bonus content that would help you in sort of an enterprise or maybe a more mature environment, but it's essential to know, essential basics. And next time we'll be looking at some more intermediate and advanced concepts. We'll likely start with joins. Um, as usual, if you enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.